Hello everyone, in this video let us talk about uh, using script runner to add uh, a scripted condition in a workflow. In case you want to do something more with your workflow conditions, you can use the script runner because when you install script runner apart from the built-in scripts, apart from all the features like uh, adding a behavior or fragments, or uh, using uh, the escalation service. There are a lot of things that you can do to improve your uh, workflow. And uh, that is actually a very powerful feature uh, in uh, Script Runner. So today I want to show you how we can uh, use Script Runner to add some scripted condition. So let us say you have an issue. And in this particular issue, you of course have uh, a workflow. We all have a, have a workflow for issues each and every issues uh, need to have a workflow so let us first take a look at the workflow and uh, then i'll try to explain what i'm uh, trying to do uh, using uh, the workflow condition so it's a very simple workflow we have uh, this uh, uh, workflow with three states to do done and in progress so my requirement is that i want my uh, users uh, to first close all the subtasks or maybe they change the subtask status or they resolve the, sta the status or the resolution field of all the subtasks, only then they can uh, do this transition. So right now my my parent activity has uh, three subtasks. Two of them are uh, done and one of them is still to do. And apart from their workflow status, they also have a resolution field. So if I look at my subtask number one, maybe in a separate window, I'll try to explain uh, the, the condition that I'm trying to add. So right now the status is done and I also have this resolution which is also done. But that is not true for my subtask number three which is still in to-do state. So if I want, I can uh, go to this uh, parent task and I can uh, do this transition. I can uh, change the status to done. And I really want to stop this from happening. So let us see how we can uh, use uh, script runner to do this, uh, uh, to add this condition. So if I go back to my project admin, uh, I'm trying to modify my workflow. And by the way, you need to be Jira admin for doing this. So let us look at the condition. And by the way, I'm, I'm talking about the, the transition, which is going to done. So this is the transition that I'm right now working on. And if I want to add a condition, I can I can click on the condition, uh, the, the tab, the second tab, and then uh, I can uh, then click on the button called add condition. So right now there are no conditions on this workflow. And by the way, conditions are something that need to be true. And only then this transition will be available. So if the, if the condition is false, you won't see the button on top for uh, doing this transition. Uh, it, is a, it is definitely different from validators because validators check for the user input. All right, so let us talk about uh, the condition. So we, we already have uh, some conditions. Most of the conditions are uh, either from native features in Jira. Uh, we do have some conditions that will appear use, if you're using some add-ons like uh, Jira Suite Utilities. So these are those conditions that are ending with JSU. But if you have a script runner, you will also see this condition called a script condition. Uh, it is suffixed with the script runner so that you know that this condition is coming from script runner add-on. So let us add this condition and uh, then we can further do some configurations. So as you can see, even if you're trying to add a condition using script runner, you also have some uh, ready-made options. You can always write your own custom script, which is great. And, and we'll probably learn more about uh, writing custom scripts uh, later. But for this particular example, I want to use this uh, inbuilt built-in script it is something uh, similar to your built-in scripts when you go to the script runner add-on section but you also have these uh, built-in scripts kind of when you are trying to add a condition so let us add this uh, all subtask must be resolved so you can add a note here if you want for your own reference but uh, i want to check for my resolution of subtask 
and my subtask resolution should be done. So if I select done here and if I click on the update, then I can um, add this condition in my uh, in my workflow or rather my transition that is going to done. And finally, I need to publish my workflow so that my workflow is uh, uh, applicable on the project. I'll uh, I'll probably uh, don't select this option, save a backup of my workflow. I'll uh, quickly publish it. So now we have this workflow which is published. So let us go back to the original issue. And if I do a refresh of uh, the of the issue page, this issue view. So right now I have this uh, status of my story, my parent task as in progress, but I don't really see the button called done. So there is no transition available right now. And the reason is that one of my subtask is is not really resolved. So if I change the subtask number three's status to done, I will uh, I should be able to uh, basically do this transition to done. And the reason is because uh, my subtask number three's resolution is now done. So this particular resolution field is uh, updated automatically when you change the status to done because uh, there must be a post function that is uh, doing this uh, this this auto updation of resolution field in your uh, Jira issue. So the whole point here is that we are able to also check for uh, for the subtask resolution field and it is of course using uh, this built-in script but you can also write your own custom script to, to do something similar but the whole idea here is to use uh, script runner to basically add uh, more advanced conditions in your uh, Jira workflow. So this is all I wanted to share in this uh, video. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you very much. Bye.